个。River Cruise. Which you're travelling on today. Now this boat, it's uh, licensed and equipped to carry 500 passengers. And we have simple in green and green. We also have life rafts on the sides of the vessel on the upper deck and they can be launched in a matter of minutes. The emergency exits downstairs at the Golden Jubilee walkways. This is the only place on the River Thames where you pass and enter the toilets before they go to Charing Cross Station. That's all it is, just toilet water. If you look slightly back to the left, on top of the bridge, you can see that modern type building, which is actually Charing Cross Station. Station. The longest road bridge to span the tidal part of the Thames here in London, and it spans just over a hundred miles. So, well done, ladies. And the right, you can see this large red brick building there with the tower. It was the largest refrigerator in house in London. It has now been converted to a luxury flat in the apartment. There's one thing we're in desperate need in London is more. Now, to give you some idea of the price of head offices of the Anglican Clergy in London. Now, if you went inside that building, you would find thousands of volumes of religious books. This also, with the first Bible, will translate from Hebrew into English and then print it on Cat's Press. to this one, as we go through now, you will notice the replica of a church pulpit. Now this was placed in the express wish of Queen Victoria to commemorate the old Blackfriars Monastery, which once stood on the Blackfriars Road, uh, Railway Bridge. Now as we start to go beneath the bridge, you can see they do a lot of construction work, a lot of building work on this bridge, yeah? Now, what are actually doing here now, we're actually making this bridge wider, but it's wider than this bridge. We get another two trucks back to the bottom of the bridge. will be sick. Like uh, Romeo and Juliet and uh, all the other good ones, they're all done over there on the right. All the other right here, they do say it's better land on the right hand side here, funding the building of the uh, Winchester Cathedral. Now this next bridge we're approaching here now is the Suffolk Road Bridge. It is the narrowest and less used bridge to span the tidal part of the Thames. Barges. Now the high tide, the powerful London tugs will come up, get hold of their barges and tow them. Sure left. Now we do have a lot of interesting bridges out here on the Thames. Now, take your attention to the right hand side of the boat there now. You will see that, see that film? See that little ship on the right hand side over there? Glimpse here of this beautiful church. Now this is called the Suffolk Cathedral. It is the third largest place of Christian worship here in London. Years. It's actually the uh, fourth bridge that's down on the site, and the first bridge was actually built by the Romans. On your left here, between the gap and the building, you get a glimpse there of a white stone column with a golden block. This one? This one has a shard of glass.
Of course, it is supposed to be incinerated, but we're not silly. We know with the incineration comes smoke. The Arctic Belfast, Northern Ireland, in 1938, and commissioned in name Very carefully, what I say now. Any passenger with a tower ticket, a single or return back to valid to Greenwich. It is valid to Greenwich, but remember this: there are no. Side to the vessel on the upper deck, and they can be taken in a matter of minutes. The emergency exits downstairs, windows and doors, clearly marked in green and green. On the open top deck area, please let's do announcements on this uh, public address system. Now, we're just doing a bit of a commentary right now. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, as we leave the pier, please pay attention to the following safety announcement. This vessel is licensed to carry 500 passengers. We have life rafts, and there are enough life jackets on board for all our passengers on lower deck, including those for mobility impaired passengers. Ended that day. development began here in the early 1990s. is 350 kilometers long, 
and from where we are now, it's nearly another 60 kilometers to the open sea. The origin of the river's name is obscure, but the Roman Emperor sees it. The Romans, who invaded Britain, Soon. If you'd like to find out about